All right, so this is my inspiration image, and this is not my artwork. This is from the TV show Sophia the First, and here's my version of it. Um, I just kind of changed the color a little bit, and now I'm starting to paint it on my walls. So first I kind of did a rough outline with some chalk and some pencil, and then I'm just going in for the first coat. I'm using the pretty much a dollar paint from AC Moore. Um, it's in like the woodworking section, so it's not the best paint, but you get a lot of colors for really cheap, so that's what we're doing. And i uh, also got to cover a lot of ground. So I'm just kind of going in section by section, trying to do everything that's the same color at one time. And here's my progress for day one. This took about three hours. Um, and then I lost a bit of footage here, but this is day two, I'm working on it. And I'm just going back in and trying to add in some more colors, trying to add a little bit more opacity by layering the paint up and kind of blending colors. Alright, so this is the end of day two, um, so I've added pretty much a second layer to everything, and then I can go in for details. So day three is just painting over um, highlights and newer colors over those base colors, so adding in like the highlights and the detailing and the shadows, and things like that. So yeah, if you want to take on a piece this big, which this is by far the biggest piece I've ever worked on. Before this, I had only worked on like an 18 by 24, and this is like 6 feet by 4 feet or something like that. Maybe 6 by 6 feet, I don't know. But it was pretty big, so you have to have a lot of patience, especially if you're using cheap paint. Um, and then I took about a 4 month break and came back um, at the start of the new year once I moved back from college. And here I am working on all of the more detailed work and just adding in kind of the final layer of paint, adding in like the rendering to make things look more three-dimensional. And then here I tried to do some clouds, I decided I didn't like them, and then uh, painted them out. So things like that happen, and it's definitely something I'm not used to, um, because especially I usually work with better acrylics, and also I also um, work in digital painting a lot, so it's pretty easy to change your mind about things. Um, but this was pretty difficult to change my mind about what I wanted to do, and things, <laughs> if things didn't turn out right, it would take a long time to repaint them and make them better. Yeah, and every now and then I have to open up the doors, make sure that the paint wasn't going into the cracks and sticking, because then my closet wouldn't open and that would be um, pretty bad. <laughs> So overall, this project took maybe nine hours or something, um, it says at the end, but I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but yeah, it was definitely a very long undertaking, so I would want to a lot, maybe a full week to do this instead of kind of spreading it out over many months. <laughs> So this is the end of day three or hour seven. I'm pretty much done, except for the finishing details and the lightest of the highlights. So I'm going in and adding flowers. I tried to add some light streaks 
Um, I tried in vain to make these work for a long time and then ultimately decided I didn't like them and painted them out. <laughs> and I also went in with some sequins and rhinestones and glitter and added some details to all the flowers and the um, sparkles to add a little extra layer of magic. So yeah, here I am erasing the light beams to the best of my ability, which was very, very annoying because I had to keep switching so many colors. And again, this paint is pretty watery and transparent, so yeah, it took a while. But here's the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.